This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Engine oil and filter change. Pull the hood release lever located below the steering column. Push the hood safety latch to the side, then raise the hood. Apply the parking brake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Raise the front of the vehicle by jacking under the front cross member and supporting it on jack stands. Remove the under vehicle splash shield. Being careful not to touch the hot exhaust components, position a drain pan under the engine oil drain plug, then unscrew the plug. Wearing protective gloves is highly recommended. Allow the oil to drain into the pan. Wipe off the drain plug with a clean rag. Any small metal particles clinging to the plug would immediately contaminate the new oil. If the sealing washer on the drain plug is damaged, replace it with a new one. Reinstall the plug and tighten it to the specified torque setting. Position the drain pan underneath the oil filter. Loosen the oil filter by turning it counterclockwise with a filter wrench. Once the filter is loose, Use your hands to unscrew it from the block. Make sure that none of the old gasket remains stuck to the mounting surface. It can be removed with a scraper if necessary. Using a clean rag, wipe off the filter mounting surface on the block. Pre-fill the new filter with the proper type of engine oil and also smear some engine oil on the rubber gasket of the new filter. Screw the new filter into place until the gasket contacts the engine, then tighten it at an additional three quarters of a turn. Install the under vehicle splash shield if equipped. Remove all tools and materials from under the vehicle, being careful not to spill the oil in the drain pan. Lower the vehicle to the ground Unblock the wheels Remove the oil filler cap Add new oil of the specified type to the engine through the oil filler neck Use a funnel to prevent oil from spilling onto the top of the engine Wait a few minutes to allow the oil to drain into the pan Pull out the oil dipstick and wipe all of the oil away from the end of the dipstick with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube until it seats completely. Then pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. If necessary, add oil until it is near the full mark. Once the oil level has reached the full mark, insert the dipstick and install the filler cap. Start the engine and allow the new oil to circulate. Allow the engine to idle for about a minute. While the engine is running, look under the vehicle and check for leaks at the oil pan drain plug and around the oil filter. If either one is leaking, stop the engine and tighten the plug or filter until it is secure. Turn the engine off and wait a few minutes. With the new oil circulated and the filter now completely full, Recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary. 
Add oil as necessary to bring the level near the full mark. Fully insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it securely by hand.